everyone, it's Simplicity, and welcome back to a new video. As you can see, we are starting a new island because I have been bitten by the temptation bug of the Rags to Liches challenge for uh, Animal Crossing, which is created by Talk. So I will jump into the rules once we have like all of my character stuff figured out here. But this looks like a lot of fun. You're probably seeing a lot of people taking part in this challenge. I'm a little bit late to the party. Um, just by like a few days, but I'm okay with that. So my last island of Eldoris that we were working on together no longer exists because I only have one switch. So we're going to be focusing primarily on this challenge and seeing kind of where we can get with it. So we're just going to quickly make my character. And then once we have my character in here, I will go ahead and skip to the rules and everything. Um, because we are allowed to have, like, a reroll after this. So you get an initial, like, island, and then you can reroll once. So we may be taking advantage of that. We shall see, depending on what layouts we get, and potentially starting villages. I don't really care about them all too much. But, um, we're just gonna go ahead. Actually, you know what? Let's do the rerolls, and then we will jump into the rules. I think that'll be like the island rules and then jump into the rules I think it's going to be a little bit more fun um I'm just kind of skipping through all of this I feel like this stuff is I don't know we've all seen it um I'm sticking with a northern hemisphere island Ooh, okay all right let me see if I can like zoom in here we can go ahead and take a look at there we go so this one, I like the peninsula size, but I don't like resident services being so close to the airport. So I'm not going to use that one. Not bad. I like this one. There's no pond, though, which is kind of sucky, like, in the initial part that we can get to. This one has a pond. I also think it's kind of cool that it has, like, a little island behind resident services. And then we also have this one here, which I don't love because it's too south-facing, river mouse, and no pond. Of course, my air conditioning has to turn on, I'm sorry. So I'm looking at this one, which could be kind of interesting. I don't know. I, I'm, I can't really be, like, overly picky. I don't have, like, any super specific, like, maps. Or we have this one. Which has like that nice kind of like island built into it, which I think is kind of cool. But I'm intrigued to see what this looks like. Because of like the little island in behind resident services. This one I already know is just an immediate no. Um, and this one's just too close. Like the south facing river mouth one isn't too bad. I just don't like resident services, but I want to take a look at this one. So this is going to count as island number one. If I don't like this one, we can go ahead and reset once so it could potentially be worse than whatever we get here but all right i'm gonna skip over this like little introduction video just because i don't feel like we need to sit here and watch it so all right perfect timing let's board the plane all right i'm a little bit nervous i'm not going to lie i don't really have like anything i specifically want i'm not getting attached to like my starting villages or anything but okay so we have oranges because, like, starting villages don't really matter because you have to kick them off eventually anyways. So, okay. Resident services is not anywhere close to the airport, as we can see through this video here. Okay, so we have Orange, Airport, Pierce, and Renee. Not bad. I just want to take a look at, like, this overall island. And I think it's kind of funny that we have an Orange Airport and Oranges. Okay. I just, I want to take a look see what we've got so it's kind of close to the beach here's the little pond it's kind of a weird shape um what are the flat okay so flowers look like they're pansies which they're not my favorite i don't know there's a lot better flowers than that if you ask me but okay so this is resident services how far is that from the airport Okay, it's got, it's a fair distance. Like, this is running from the airport, and it's all the way, like, 
obviously not all the way over here, but we are just checking everything out just to see. Okay, so this is the beach. All right. But yeah, so resident service is like up here. And then this is kind of like that little island area, which is a lot bigger than I expected it to be. Huh, it's kind of interesting. But I feel like we have to take advantage of that reroll. Okay, we are loading into a reroll. I don't know if I'm going to regret this or not. Hoping that I'm not going to. But it's always possible that I might. So we're loading in. We're about to hop in with Timmy and Tommy once more. And seeing everything that we can just kind of do here. But I will have, if you aren't already subscribed, to Pat, also known as Talk. I'll have him linked. Because um, he's also doing this challenge. There's a lot of different creators actually taking part in this over on Twitch as well as here's YouTube. But I just, I don't know, I feel like it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, Pat was also the creator of Hard Mode, which we did earlier in the year, and I kind of like gave up on that. But... I like this because there's objectives, which I know I haven't talked about yet, but I promise I will get to as soon as we find the island. So, name and birthday, we can do that. So, my name is obviously Lisa, as I had already put in here once. L-I-S-A. There we go. Perfect. And then my birthday is November 16th. There we are. Okay, so we're gonna hop in, create another character. It's probably going to look the exact same as the other one, although I don't know about the blue eyes situation. I, my eyes are kind of weird. They change color, so like sometimes they're blue, sometimes they're green, sometimes they're gray. I don't know. Um, these eyes that are currently on scare me a little bit. Okay, well, keeping with the green, it matches the shirt. Good enough for me. All right. So whatever island we decide on here is the one that we have to take. So I'm a little bit, just a little bit scared. Um, where do I live now? North America. Okay. Let's see. Okay. I'm just going to stick with the Northern Hemisphere just because I find that that's probably easier for me. And it doesn't require me having to think about how different the seasons are. Okay. Zooming in. So we can go ahead and look here. Alright. So we have this one here, which is a pond. It's kind of in a weird location, but it could maybe have like a little land bridge right there too. Um, we have this one, which I don't like the pond right in front of the airport. So that's probably a no. I like this one. The pond location in the back is kind of interesting, but I like the distance there for resident services and I don't love. So we are between this option here, number one, or option technically four, which would be not this one. This one here. Oh boy. I like the peninsula on this one a lot because it's one of like the bigger peninsulas, but I know that it doesn't necessarily really matter. I think I'm going to go with the first one. I'm thinking that having a pond that we can easily access, like, early on is going to be more beneficial. <sighs> okay. So, I'm just going in here and, like, taking one last look just to make sure. <sighs> okay. I do really like this one. I don't like this kind of, like, pond situation. But I kind of like that this one has, like, an island in the middle, too. I think we're going to go with the first one. I'm thinking that pond in early access is going to be able to help us out. Now, the other pond location's a little strange, but I don't know. You know what? Let's just go with the first one. That pond is kind of going to be like my main selling point right now. The peninsula to me doesn't really matter all too much, now that it's a good beach location. So let's just see how this works. This is the island that we are going to have for this challenge. And am I a little bit scared? Yes, because I feel like it could definitely be worse than the last one. But I think this could be a decent island. And I'm trusting my instincts on this pond. And I also messaged one of my friends and was like, hey, what island between the two? So she also mentioned this one. So thank you, Casey, for being helpful.
but um okay am i scared of who my starting villagers are going to be yes yes i am um okay we're gonna take a nice deep breath we're going to center ourselves and just accept our fate that whatever is on this island is it okay so there's a pond that's actually really nice we have oranges again so i don't know what the odds of that are but i don't mind oranges i feel like they're one of the basic kind of fruits looks like we have a green airport based on what i could see there i am you have got to be kidding me how was my fate sealed to have the exact same starters on both islands like, why were these two destined to be my starting villagers for this challenge? What just happened? What, like... Now, I will say, I do, like, I don't mind the green airport. It's not my favorite. But I kind of liked the orange one a little bit better. But, I don't know. Something is telling the universe that I needed to have these two villagers. So I guess we'll see what happens there. But okay, let's check everything out. Alright, so we've got like a little kind of pop-out spot here. I just want to like take everything in. We just ran past resident services. Ooh, okay, flowers are mums. I like mums. This is a lot better than the pansies. I'm happy about that. Let's see. Okay, so our pond should be, yes. Look at we have like our own little lamb bridge. How cute is that? And it's built into the island. Um, so there's like a bigger area over here. Okay, giant beach right here, very nice. And then resident services is like right there. So it's a little bit closer than the last one, but I feel like there's enough space that I can do something with that. Okay, this is it. This is our island. I still can't believe that I have the same two villages as I did the last time. But like, if you run from like here, like I really, I don't mind the green airport, but like, Look at this space. It's like right here. So people coming to sign my board isn't going to be too bad, which is nice. But okay, let's go ahead and jump into this. Is that everyone? Let's see. Is Renee here? How about Pierce? I feel like I'm being haunted by Pierce. He was a starter on Eldorus. He was a starter on that last island. And he's a starter here. How do I have him three times in a row? Like, I just want to know. What are the odds of that? And these two in a row? Twice. How did I manage? I will never know. But okay, I'm the founder of President of Nook Inc. This is a package deal. Da da da. I'm not gonna actually like sit here and read all of this. I'd like each of you to choose a spot for your own. Okay, so this is for a tent. So one of the rules is I have to let my villagers, I know I haven't gotten into this yet, but I have to let the villagers choose their own spot so i'm not allowed to choose where the tent goes for them they have to go ahead and do that but let's actually go ahead and hop into the rules right here okay so the rules for this challenge as you will see up on the screen so we have restarting rules you must start a new island for this challenge you can have up to one re-roll on island layouts starting villagers pick their house spots you must pick a starting class a forager farmer fashionista fugitive Island name must start with the letter associated with your class. Must put a CNH regs to glitches on bulletin board. All pen penalty fees, time traveling, turn up fees, etc. will be paid by putting your bells into a trash can item. So daily rules, you are able to time travel as much as you like. Each day you time travel will cost 10k bells. You can only time travel one day at a time. You must complete all daily two times at Nook Mile Plus goals, which supersedes the economy rules. You must complete daily NPC quests. All new bugs, fish, sea creatures, fossils, art must be donated before selling. Um, villager rules. Starting villagers grant you a 5k bell discount each on time traveling expenses. Having both starting villagers on your island allows free time travel. You can't complete the challenge if both starting villagers are living on your island. All villagers with thought bubbles must be talked to. Villagers that ask to leave must be let go. The campsite villagers must be invited to live on your island. The max number of tickets you can use for hunts is five. If you get to the fifth ticket, you must take that villager or autofill. You may only go to one mystery island per day except on hunts. No amiibos allowed. 
economy rules. We have every Sunday you must buy 50k bells worth of turnips that may be skipped for the first two weeks. Turnips can only be sold on your island. Everything must be sold to the Nook's deposit box, excluding turnips. Fish and bugs can be sold to CJ Flick if they are visiting. Weekend markets you may buy and sell to other players. 16 people max per weekend. You can't sell fossils or turnips at the market. Fishing tourney bug off when competing with other legs to riches players. Each player must drop 3k bells before each round. The winner of each round gets all dropped bells. You must pay 2k bell admission fees to island owner when arriving. No treasure islands and no happy homes. So the end game objectives. So we have purchase one royal crown, two crowns for the fugitive and fashionista. Obtain five star island. Complete one part of the Clitopedia or two parts for Forager. Have 10 million bells in ABD. 20 million bells in the ABD for fug fugitive and farmer. Fully upgraded house and upgraded house island. Have two top 10 villagers living on your island from the Animal Crossing portal. Three top 10 villagers for a fashionista. Have at least three gold tools. Earn one gold bug off trophy, one gold fishing tourney trophy. Craft five golden series DIYs. One pile of cash DIY, one money foiling. Can only be crafted on a forager island. 25 posts on your community board from other legs to riches players. 35 posts for fashionista. So we have the four different classes, which are farmer, fashionista, forager, and fugitive. So I've been sitting here trying to decide. And I think I'm going with forager. So my ability is only active when wearing the do lag. So island name, island name must start with an R. I can sell fish, forageables, fossils, trees, and tree items directly to Nook's Cranny. I must complete the fossil and sea creature Clitopedia. I can deny campsite villagers, which I think this is why I am sold on this. Also, I can the only island that can craft items to objective number 9. And if Sahara appears on my island, I have to pay a 20k fee. So let's go ahead and get back to the video. All right, so let's go ahead. We have to talk to, not Tom Nook, one of the boys. We need to talk to Timmy or Tommy. And let's see, yes, yes, place down my tent. So I typically, there's no rules where I can put my tent. So I typically put my tent on the beach. I also usually put my villager houses on the beach whenever I'm starting off. Just because I feel like that makes more sense and it doesn't take up as much space. But let's see. I'm too close to the water. I feel like that was enough room. Um, okay, I guess we're looking at another beach. But Renee has her spot picked out. I don't mind that. I feel like that's actually not too bad of a spot. And let's see. Now Pierce. Are you Okay. Why did you pick literally right in front of a tree? I have never seen a villager just like stand there thinking face first into a tree. But okay, I'm going to put mine right here. Apparently I'm going to be a little bit closer to Pierce than I am Renee. But that is okay with me. But okay, I have to let them pick their own spots. He's going to immediately destroy one of my resources with a tree. Which I don't love... I really don't, but we've just, we gotta go with it. There goes my tree. Yep, it looks great. I mean, I really wish you picked somewhere else that I had my tree, but okay. It's alright. That's only just a little bit of a downside, but it's only one tree. There are plenty more on the island, and I can always grow some. So let's go ahead and talk to Lene. But like, see, she picked a nice reasonable spot. She's like out in the open. The only thing that she's getting out of is weeds. Like, I feel like that's not that bad. Apparently she threw a stick and landed here. Uh, looks good to me. Is her little catchphrase yo, yo, yo? I don't pay attention to villagers enough to know what everybody's catchphrase is. But some of these catchphrases, I don't know. They're a little bit questionable to me. But, um... D did I help Pierce? I did. Uh, my first guy here is worried. Someone like you, it can rest easy. Everyone's waiting on us. Let's get back to the plaza. All 
right. Well, I guess we're heading back to the plaza. There we go. Uh, welcome back. So I think this is when I need to go in, get some tree branches and oranges to get the party started here. So let's go ahead. Uh, okay. I need, well, yeah, firewood and a little snack. Okay. I went ahead and skipped. It is now a little bit later. And we are starting with the festivities, which also means it's time to name the island. So one of the rules, as I said earlier, the island name has to start with an R. And I have two currently in mind. Um, one is French for a daydream. It's lovely. And then the second one is raspberry. And I feel like raspberry might be the better name option here. But I haven't fully made up my mind. Because I do kind of like the idea of having an island named like Daydream in French. But at the same time, I don't know. I just, I haven't fully figured this out. But I guess it's time to figure it out. Alright, so I'm going to go with Raspberry, I think. I think that's going to be easier because I'm going to be playing with other people. That this is going to be one that like they can all pronounce. And I still feel like it's kind of cute. So, we're going to go with Raspberry. And, um, uh, let's see what ideas everybody else had. Awesome Beach Isla del Biceps. Okay. Interesting choices. But, <laughs> let's start there. Lisa suggested Raspberry. Okay. So, that is a cute little island name. I've seen some others with, like, some really good names. Um... My favorite one so far, though, is somebody from the Fugitive, Fugitive class. I really liked Blaine, also known as Bewick. His island name is really good for his class. I enjoyed that a lot. Um, a word or two. All right, perfect. So there we are. We have settled on a name. I am now the resident representative. And we are going to go ahead and apparently have some orange juice, party the night away, and then I can go ahead and get some sleep. So I've been woken up by Tom Nook. And are you in there? I haven't woken you abruptly. Oh, you did. But it's okay. So we are about to go ahead and get up. Deal with Tom Nook. See what's up. Get handed this horrible itemized bill. And then learn what about bells and, you know, everything else. Um, It's a brand new day. I slept that long. Uh, normally we want out. Speaking of which, a few more things that might be a... Okay, so this is when we get the phone. Very nice. It's your own Nook phone. I had one of these made for island residences. Okay. Uh, could you try turning it on for me? Yeah, I guess so. Alright, so we officially have a phone. And we are able to kind of start jumping into island life and being able to do everything that we have to do in the early game. So, all right. Um, have I ever used a smartphone? Have I used a smartphone? I do have one of my own. Uh, this should be a breeze for you. Okay. This is also a useful app. So, I don't normally play with this app, but at the same time, it's kind of nice to have something to look at on the, like, loading screens. So, I think I'm just going to go ahead and just take Island Life we will get this app for free since otherwise it costs some Nook Miles. And at this point, Nook Miles, I'm going to have to kind of save them up. We need, is it 5,000 of them, I think, to pay off this house? Oh, uh, I guess technically tent. And uh, that's enough about the app. Okay. Yep, there's my bill. Um, 49,000 bells. Wait, you were being serious. I can't believe I didn't think of this. Bells are a currency. You don't have any. No, no, I don't. I am completely broke. No need to worry. I was prepared for the getaway. You can get... Okay. So, this is whenever we were finding out about the Nook Mileage Program. So, we are learning everything that there is about the beginning of the island life. Um, it only comes to 5,000 miles. I'll register you... You'll see the evil in miles for joining. Do, do, do. Heartily congratulate you and have you as a resident of Raspberry. Alright. 
So I think we're actually going to go ahead and wrap up the very first part right here. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up right here. I'm going to have another part of this up probably, um, I'm going to say probably within like two days, something around there, because I want to go ahead and film a little bit more of this. But I'm going to go ahead, as I said, and wrap this video up right here. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, you can go ahead and the like button down below. If you want to see some more videos from me, you can go ahead and subscribe. I post videos typically four days a week right now. If you are already subscribed and want notifications for when I post, go ahead and hit that bell down below. Make sure that your YouTube notifications are turned on. And I will see you all next time. Bye, lovelies.